What's up, guys? Drew here, thatanxietyguy.com, Saturday morning, the Hat Brigade, but my friend Billy The Crump. Mad Hatters, that's what the I was thinking. The Mad Hatters. I decided yeah. to, like, infringe on your look today with the hat. I know, yeah. And I'm Works all right. trying to get used to the idea, but we'll see. You have to send me a cease and desist letter at some point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's <laughs> it, man. That's it. We're all uh, hot. We've got our hot beverages to rock and roll today. What are you drinking, Drew? I am drinking decaf coffee. I like, hope it is. I hope it is decaf. It's decaf. It's, it's so decaf. What's the point? I'm gonna I'm gonna win people over here. Chamomile and honey tea. Huh? <sighs> yeah, man. No, it's not too bad. It's not half oh, bad. Do you like the taste of it? Nice. I don't like my phone. Well, that's a good start. <laughs> that's all right. It's all right. No big deal. I cannot do that. Cam- yeah, New Year. New me. New <laughs> <laughs> year, new me, man. That's yeah, the thing. That's the thing. It's, so, it's uh, yeah, I can't, I can't do chamomile. That's just vile. I just it, tastes, it. it tastes like flowers, right? That's what I think. It's, not that I've eaten it flowers. Like flowers. Yeah, yeah. It's not, I just can't do it. I can't. I just don't yeah. have the stomach of chamomile tea. But uh, people swear by it, so there you go. This yeah. one's okay with a bit of honey in. It's got, yeah. like, it's chamomile and honey. Recommended. You have to mask, mask it with sugar. That's all. Yes, yes. That's Everything's it. better with sugar. <laughs> Makes you feel good. All right, so what do we want to talk about today? We're sort of winging this a little bit, but... Yeah, well, we have no concept, no uh, preconceived ideas today. It's just... We don't. We don't. We're taking comments, like, from the group here. Yeah, yeah. We can kind of go through them. You want to go through them a little bit? What, what was we going to talk about? We did say that we was going to... Oh, yeah. coming up with a plan. Coming up with a plan. How to make a plan. Yeah, I think that's going to be the overriding thing. But before we get into that, like, um, I'm just looking at my screen up here. So this is ridiculous. I thought, I I thought you were just gazing off into this. I'm just gazing off at the space. No, I'm looking at my screen. So I'm actually... I have this makeshift thing happening here. That's yeah, just, yeah. That's we are, when he thing. says we're winging it, we are really winging it today. <laughs> Like, I left my mic in the office, so I'm just, like, yeah. making it up. So, um, we'll go through a couple of things, and then we'll we'll kind of focus on, like, what a good plan looks like. Yeah, like yeah. A good plan, because I think that's super important. Mm-hmm. So, um, Heather, our friend Heather Wright in Oregon, she, like, she has a lot of good things here. Symptoms that should be checked and dealt with versus symptoms of anxiety and how to judge those logically while well in the mix of panic slash anxiety. Okay. That's about a million. That's like a million dollar question. I mean, the answer to the symptom question is always going to be the same. And we'll, we'll blow through those next. But mm-hmm. how do you know what's anxiety and how do you know what's not anxiety? I suppose, well, for me, it would be like ex- experience. Like if right. I, I've ever had this thing 50,000 times. Yes. You know, that, that was kind of something that I used to think about with my videos. So I'd mention all the symptoms that I was feeling at the time. So I could then go back, look at it, think, oh, I had that. So I got over it, obviously. Yeah. So I don't know, you know, whether people could keep a journal or something like that or make their own videos. Like you used to make loads of videos and not actually put them online, didn't you? Right. Just for your own reference. Right. Just to watch them back so I could say like, oh, I was yeah, yeah, exactly. feeling this at the time or this happened. Yeah. Because we've said I, before, like this, how many times can you have the dizzy feeling until you realize that it ain't dangerous? Right. And so experience makes all the difference. So Heather, the answer, like what symptoms should you actually check medically? Mm. I think in the beginning, when people are just first starting on this, mm-hmm. you check every symptom. Like, mm-hmm. it's just normal. Mm-hmm. I think that's just normal. It's not a bad thing. You're brand new to this. You've never had panic attacks before, so you run to the doctor and just get everything checked. That's pretty normal. Say, I was going to say, like, let's not check on Google. Let's If, if we're going to check stuff, let's go and see a professional. That's pretty smart because I think in the end, I mean, realizing that when you get into a panic state, you're not thinking rationally in any mm-hmm. way so mm-hmm. like google is a bad you can't interpret what you read clearly in any way it's always worst case scenario on google man yeah so checking it like with a professional is probably a good idea so in the beginning when you're brand new to all this and you've just started experiencing panic and anxiety it's totally normal to like physically check every symptom i think that's just uh-huh. got to be uh, yeah, kinda, yeah. yeah and then as experience just starts to show you like well this is this is a thing or some of the crazier, let's say crazier, that's not right, but more unusual things I've hear people talk about. Like Julian was talking about heartburn the other day. Mm-hmm. And- yeah, I get that. Yeah, especially, I mean, I love- especially after eating pickled onions at 2 a.m. That's a problem. Yeah. <laughs> Who knew? I'm not a doctor, 
but I did say in a holiday in this night, so I'll tell you, maybe don't do that. (laughs) I was was on PlayStation, and it was, like, getting late, and I just decided to eat some salt and vinegar crisps and a pickled onion at, like, 2 a.m., and I was in a party on the PlayStation, and they were all saying, like, that's going to give you heartburn, and I was like, ah, nah, don't worry about it, and I was still lying there at 4 a.m., like, shit. (laughs) I should have listened. This is bad. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. Salt and vinegar. Yeah, chips, yeah. Crisps, yeah. and and pickled onions. You are hardcore. There's only go one way to home. live. It's 2019, right. man. Go big or go home. That's true. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Julian was mentioning heartburn, and like, yeah, I guess he, that he has acid reflux, and some people do. Yeah, yeah. So I would say like your anxiety might make it worse because stomach issues are normal with anxiety, but like mm-hmm. if you have acid reflux, then take whatever. Take yeah, your yeah. Pepsi I, I used to have Rennies. Rennies are the things over here, like. Yeah, just like drop a Rennie. Yeah yeah. yeah, yeah. We have Tums or stuff like that. Pepto, Pepto That's it. Bismol. Who's yeah, outside? take it. Yeah. I can see someone outside. It's yeah, yeah, somebody just drove past the bicycle. Yeah. <laughs> God damn it. Um, I'm prepared this so, week for any knocks at the door. My new freaking Oh, nice. <laughs> awesome. I got these because I got a heavy bag. Like, <gasps> we're going heavy completely bag. off topic. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's, I love my heavy bag. Yeah, yeah. I've, got, I've got to hang it still. It's still in the kitchen, just leaning up against the door. But every now and again, I'll go in and beat the living daylights out of it. Nice. Yeah. Well, you know, you have it. That's half the battle. That's a mm. start. Yeah. you got to ease into these things. Yeah, yeah. You can't rush. <laughs> you can't rush. So let's talk about um, how this says she had so many ideas until, <laughs> until we ask. Mm. Uh, um, tips on sleeping better. Elizabeth. Welcome to the oh, group, Elizabeth. By the way, she's new. Okay. We hi. are. I am the wrong <sighs> dude to ask about sleep. So the last four nights, for some reason, I just cannot sleep. I'm yeah. I'm like checking the clock every hour and I'm noticing till like 6 a.m. And then I'll fall asleep till like 10. Yeah. And it, the school run starts on Monday. So and I've got to go up at seven <laughs> and I'm dreading it. I'm still going to be awake. That's yeah. what I'm thinking. From the night before. Yeah, yeah. It's weird. I don't know whether, because over Christmas and that, I was staying up till like 3, 4 a.m. on PlayStation, yeah. just pissing yeah. about, and it, it's caught up with me now. What can you do? Well, that's what happens on that like holiday week, when you yep. lose track of what day it is. Nobody even knows what day it is. It's crazy, between Christmas so, and New Year. I've been thinking, since they broke up, I've been thinking they go back on the 10th, because when I check the calendar, like yeah. I check the thing, and it said the school holidays end on the 7th, which okay. means they... They go back on the seventh, but I interpreted that as they finish. I mean, like the holidays oh. end on the seventh, being a Friday. I was looking yeah. at December on the calendar, so December the seventh was a Friday, and I was thinking they go back on the tenth because that's the Monday. Yeah. I forgot to turn the calendar over. Nice, good job. So yeah, You're so I've got, yeah, three three less sleeps I've got. Like people count down the sleeps till Christmas. I count yeah. down the sleeps till the school run. <laughs> <laughs> I think so. The answer to like a couple of people said sleep. Um, Elizabeth said sleep. Um, somebody else mentioned sleep. Morning anxiety and night waking. Jolene, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. insomnia. Daphne asked about that. Like probably the two worst guys talk about sleep. Just yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, the the tips are the same for anybody. Like, don't use your your devices in bed if you can. Right. Like, Leave your phone downstairs if you have to. Don't. A lot of people watch TV to go to sleep. Mm. Like that's something I can't do. Like read a book, have some hot milk or cocoa, whatever. There's a ton of like sleep hygiene tips. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Make sure your room's the right temperature, dark enough. Right, or... Dark. All this yeah, stuff. Yeah. But I think part of it too with the sleeping and the insomnia stuff is just like yeah, I almost have to expect it to happen. So. Like when you're in, when you're at your worst, I know for me, like sleep was not a thing. It was yeah, broken. Yeah. It was sporadic. It was whenever I could get it, I would wake up at, you know, fall asleep at two and wake up at four and not be able to go back to sleep and just lay there yeah, like yeah. dread day. And so it's, it's like almost like anything else. Like you need sleep, but if you just accept that, like your sleep might be a little messed up right now. That's best I think I used to like years ago, I used to get really angry. I'd get narky if I couldn't sleep. Like yeah. and that that would make it even worse. But now I just I kind of like oh well, like I'm just yeah. I'm still just gonna lie here and just eventually I'll drift off. If I need to sleep, then my body's gonna sleep. That's the way I yeah. look at it now. Yeah, that's true. Like you'll sleep when you have to sleep. That's true. Yeah, you yeah. 
not not sleep. I mean, so in, in the insomnia, this I, I don't have any good tips on that. Unfortunately, just try and go with the flow as best as possible. Get to sleep where you, where you can get it. Mm-hmm. Don't force it. Don't be angry about it. Like, don't read any more into it. One um, thing that I that I do know is about myself. Like, if I don't get a good sleep, then it sort of sabotages the next day before it's even started. If I go exactly. to bed at if I go to bed at like or if I fall asleep at two three a.m. and I know I've got to get up in the morning, then yeah. I it's already I know it's going to be a bad day where it might not necessarily have been a bad day if I hadn't have had this preconceived idea in my head that I haven't had enough sleep I'm going to feel like crap it's going to be a bad day so try not try not to do that yeah yeah because that's what I do yeah that's what I was saying like don't force it don't be angry about it like you were saying and you know what for a while for me I had to realize like especially here in the in the U.S. we talk about it all the time like the U.S. is just sleep deprived. Like our population yeah, yeah. is just, we just mm-hmm. don't sleep. So like everybody around me is sleep deprived, like, but yeah. they're just not freaking out over it. So party animals. That's what you are. Party yeah. animals. It's just 24 seven. Just, just yeah, fine. Yeah. We, we don't mm-hmm. even know what to do with ourselves. That's the mm-hmm. problem. So just, it is what it is. Do the best you can. Just don't let it make you crazy. Like if you're not sleeping, don't add more to it, you know, mm-hmm. than it is. Yeah. You're not um, you're just because you've got anxiety is pro- likely not the reason. Or you're not the only people. People with Correct. anxiety are not the only people that struggle with sleep. Nobody exactly gets right. enough freaking sleep. It's exactly right. It's 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 not specific to anxiety. That yeah, was yeah. probably exacerbating it, but it's not it's not necessarily an anxiety thing. And so look let's at, talk. Look about... at Sleeping Beauty as well, man. Turned out okay for her. You're right. And in the end, Rip Van yeah, Winkle. Yeah. You know, same yeah. thing. Who? Yeah. Rip Van Winkle. Oh, you guys don't have that. Um, oh, we probably a... do. That's an American, probably an American fable or whatever. I didn't remember the thing. He fell asleep under a tree or something like that for like years. I don't know. One of, one, one of the most. I feel like uh, I could do that. Yeah, maybe under a tree. So let's mm-hmm. talk about um, Laura, our friend Laura. What does accepting look like versus white knuckling and talking yourself out of it? I, I feel like I, I answer this question every day. Uh-huh. A little bit. Like, what does it look like? Tell me again what it looks like to accept. Like... It's a whole topic by itself. I've made full entire ranting videos about yes. it. Yes. What does accepting look like? You're talking yourself through it uh, quickly, like super quickly. For me, it means uh, I just read what Laura wrote here. It's just let letting go of the fight completely. Mm-hmm. No more mm-hmm. fight. You could totally and utterly give up and let the very worst effing thing that you could yeah, think. Yeah. Just let it happen to you. Mm-hmm. So if you think you're going to collapse, then go ahead and collapse. If you think you're going to die, then I dare you. Go ahead and die. If you think you're going to go crazy, go ahead and go crazy. No more fight. Give up the fight. Just let it do whatever it's going to do. And do exactly the opposite of what you want to do, which is stop thinking. Stop arguing with yourself. Stop trying to calm yourself down. Just relax your body. Put your brain in neutral and let the mm-hmm. worst possible thing happen. That yeah, is yeah. what it is. That's what it is. I can't. I don't know any other way to describe it. That's it. No, that's so, perfect. No. Yeah, I don't know how it feels like to you, but that's... I think there's there's two things that I consciously do when I feel myself getting anxious. Like I'm thinking of when I've been for walks and stuff. Like I drop yeah. my shoulders, I make a yeah. real conscious effort to drop my shot and slow down. That's one yes. of the main because like speed for me, like walking quicker to get back to the car or get out of the store, that feels awesome. more frantic. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, and it makes you it just escalates that feeling. So just yeah. slow the fuck down, drop your shoulders, and just whatever. Yeah. Yeah, let every bit of tension out of your body, slow it yeah, down, yeah. Just back to your breath, and just let that thing just scream in your face as loud as it wants to, and just mm-hmm. whatever. Like, mm-hmm. that's the best way I could describe it, and yes, I will follow up with that. I know you're going to say, Laura, whoever's re- reading this or watching, is going to yeah, say, yeah. but that's so hard. Yes, it's fucking hard. Do it, it is, anyway. It's horrible. Yeah, it's, it, like you say, you always say, it's going against everything that your brain and body wants to do. Right. Do the opposite. Do the opposite. But that's how you learn your way out of this. So mm-hmm. short answer to a big question. Um, let's go on. Gemma, how to deal with failed resolutions. <laughs> I don't know if she's serious about that. Don't make any. Don't make any. I never make resolutions. I no, never, ever, ever make resolutions. Me neither. Like, what's, what's the difference January 1st? I don't understand. Exactly, it. man. Exactly. No, I don't. I gave up that a long time ago. I've got yeah, nothing else to give up. I gave up alcohol, coffee, weed. <laughs> hell, what else do you want from me? Hats. Yes, that's it. Give Jog up. On. It's, it's, <laughs> that's your last vice, hats. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Gemma, I don't know if you're serious or not, but how to deal with failure resolution. She laughed, so I don't think she's serious. Don't mm. Number one, don't make them. And number two, like understand what they are. They're just There's these silly things that we arbitrarily attach to the calendar 
which yeah, is yeah. nothing other than a way to mark this, this you know, the, our position around the moon and the sun. So, yeah. like, if it was that important a commitment, then you wouldn't have waited till January. That's that's exactly right. And, and it's not a it's not a failure. So you've decided to like get up in the morning and go to the gym every day, and it's January fifth, and you and you missed the last two days. Well, just do it today. That's how you deal with it. Just do it yeah. today. Pick it up today. Ain't no thing. The um, sixty-four thousand dollar question: We need to know if Josh ate the entire. I know where this is going. Well, uh, Tumblr. So the, the story was, he bought that for his other granddad. That was a, a, a Christmas okay. present for his other granddad, right. which I I have here. Nice. Oh, they so, brand it Birmingham NFC. I see. You will notice that it's now empty, because yes. Josh decided to eat it. <laughs> He bought it as a Christmas gift and then decided, yeah, I'm going to eat that. Yeah, well, he hadn't told him that he'd bought it. And I, he, there's no way he would have seen the video. So he just thought, nah, we'll have it. We'll have that. Well, that's fine. Yeah, uh, you can. So good job. So Callie, Callie from Massachusetts, to answer your question. <laughs> the Toblerone no longer exists. So I have the, I have no the packaging. More. Yeah. All $18. And yes, I see both of us did the currency conversion. So good deal. Yes, yeah, it was 12 quid. <laughs> 12 quid. People keep asking what's a quid. Quid is a pound for anybody that, yeah. I've asked the question too. I think you were the oh. one who had teach me that. What's a quid? Uh, what's the <laughs> other? You, the quid, pound. Uh, what's the other thing that I've heard you use? What's it? Um, Come on. Is there, is there another slang for that? There probably is, isn't There's there? Probably hundreds. I don't know. Why is my like camera going or like I'm in it's, three? Uh, you've got it on autofocus. Don't worry about it. I'm using my phone, whatever. Just, just don't move. Uh, Jolene, <laughs> Jolene asks about morning anxiety. Uh, well, Daphne also asked about morning anxiety and insomnia. We talked about the sleep thing. Um, morning anxiety, like okay, yeah, that's that's a strange one because for me, it's never really. I've never classed it as morning. It's just anxiety. Like it doesn't matter to me what time of day it is. Like I've never yeah. really had a an, an specific issue with morning anxiety or night. I right. guess they they used to be a time of day. Are you always used to feel a bit edgy around five p.m. For some reason, I don't know whether it was hunger or something yeah. like that used to be an issue for me. But like, I mean, sometimes, yeah, you'll wake up and feel anxious, but that's, I just that's just anxiety. It's not I guess it is what? legally it's morning anxiety, but technically it's morning anxiety. That's, that's true. The word I mean, I to, when I was getting when things were getting better, when I was like moving forward, the anxiety was still the worst in the morning for me. So I sort okay. of understand what, what they're saying. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay, so you wake up in the morning. Maybe you woke up too early. You're having trouble sleeping. You open your eyes. It's four a.m. and like you have your anxiety is raging. Well, if you cannot go back to bed, get up. Like mm -hmm. the best advice I have for morning anxiety is just get up and do not lay in it. Like the worst thing that for, that I ever did was lay mm -hmm. in that morning anxiety. Yeah, just yeah. Like oh, the clock is ticking. I have to get to work soon. I had the phone's going to ring soon. Like. Nope. It was way better when I just get out of bed, even at four or five o'clock in the morning and do something. Yeah, like yeah. Check my email, start to engage the world, something, get on a treadmill, go for a walk, drink a cup of coffee, whatever. It didn't matter. Read a book. I think we but, can uh, we can reference Claire Weeks on this. I'm sure she says rise on waking at some point. Those I words. Believe, I yeah, believe yeah. she does. Yes. Like rise do not on waking. Worse yeah, yeah. Is, and, and honestly, that goes for the de depression thing too. Like, and I know mm -hmm. depression is harder and stuff, but like, do not just lay there in the morning anxiety and ruminate and think and think and think and think. That's and think. the point. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's not good. Get into doing something, something, anything. Take mm -hmm. control. It's so like even just sitting at your kitchen table with a cup of tea and trying mm -hmm. to read a book is at least making some active effort to be in control. I suppose with the morning, with the morning anxiety, like that can sabotage the whole day, can't it? Because if you have a bad start, as soon as you wake up and it's there, then yeah. Yeah. But here's the good news about morning anxiety. If you're calling it morning anxiety, it's because it's worse than it is the rest of the day, which means the rest of the day is better. Yeah, so, yeah. Like, so let's, better, let's better, get, better. Get, get through the morning and then we got right. the afternoon to look forward right. to. I, I used to, that, that was for me became a, um, like a positive thing. I'd wake up and I would feel that anxiety and I would think like, all right, no problem because this is going to be much better yeah, by yeah. like one. Uh -huh. And it was. And so it became an indicator that for me, if you if you call it morning anxiety because your more your anxiety is worse in the morning, then you know that you will be feel better in the afternoon. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So to me it became like obvious proof, like this is this is not a thing. Like I'm gonna feel mm -hmm. better come four or five o'clock. So it's take mad it as how, a positive. 
when you when we look at the group and like the comments and stuff and certain people will have it worse in the morning some people worse at night some people That's... the heat the heat is a trigger some people the cold yeah. is a trigger it's so crazy the scope of just it's, it's that, all... how everybody's so different yeah yeah it's mad it's all over the place but uh, so i think that was really kind of the last that i saw in terms of i guess i could reload the page but i, I don't know um i, I think the yep that was about it um that was all people asked for, so that's cool. The I think no matter what anybody would ask in the thread, just to make that blanket statement, if you're asking about a particular symptom, how do I deal with? Mm -hmm. uh, somebody people mentioned muscle tension or or restless leg, like legs moving, um, like every other symptom. Like every mm -hmm. symptom is like every other symptom. None are different. Yeah, so yeah. whether it's rapid heart rate or your legs are restless or you have tension in your neck and your shoulders or you mm -hmm. are depersonalized or do you realize the same exact thing every time mm -hmm. what do you do about it nothing yeah nothing. There, because there is nothing you can do about it yeah you do nothing about it that's what you do mm. so i've noticed think... the the thing for me like when i've been doing the walks and stuff it's the legs like the jelly legs if you've seen the video that I did on Christmas Day when I went out for a walk, yes, yeah, yeah. and I was I was walking back to the high street like I was walking down like a thin bit, and I was coming back onto the main high street, and within about fifteen twenty meters of it, my legs just went to jelly completely. But I knew why, so it didn't stop yeah. me. I just kept moving, just, just slowed walking. myself down. Yeah, yeah, but it was mad, like just noticing that that's yeah. the thing that always catches me every single time. There were times that I can remember, like, the legs were a big deal for me for mm -hmm. a while. And so I would be in the car, like, forcing myself to drive to work and do that sort of stuff. Yeah, yeah. And I would feel like, even in the car, I wasn't even standing. I was sitting mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. And I feel like, oh, my legs feel so weak. Like, I could barely feel them, like, they're not even there. And I would literally get out of the car. No, no shit. This is, mm -hmm. I'll admit this. Mm -hmm. Somebody once asked me, what's the silliest thing I ever did with anxiety? This might be it, okay. now that cool. I think about it. Let's have I would laugh. literally get out of the car. And like, I would literally get out of the car and say, okay, well, I got to prove to myself that my legs are just fine, even though they feel weak and like, mm -hmm. like they're made of concrete. I would literally like hop up and down like a frog, like all full, like ass to grass squat and then jump mm -hmm. up as high as I could. Like three or four times, I literally jumped up the stairs in my building like that two or three uh -huh. times. Uh -huh. I mean, I don't care. So look at me if you want. But to me, yeah. it was like, eh, this is, these legs are working just fine. It doesn't matter mm -hmm. how they feel. Mm -hmm. They're still holding me up. So, I, I, yeah, I would do that sort of stuff. As crazy as that sounds, it worked. Though. It worked. Mate, it, yeah, it proved it proved to you that they would still get you there. That's exactly right. And I know, like um, Donna in the group has talked a couple of times about how when she feels like her heart rate start to go up, she just goes out and starts walking, mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. you know, whatever, you know, whatever. But in the end, yeah, yeah. that's that's a direct challenge to the symptom. Like I always mm -hmm. encourage that challenge it then, or do nothing and just let it be there, and that and you'll learn that way. Either way, yeah, you yeah. learn. But the symptom doesn't matter. Yeah. So, yeah. so that gets us to like, we're done with comments. It gets us to how do we make a plan? How are we doing? I have no idea how long we've been going. No, I don't know. I don't even pay attention to that. What does it It'll tell, tell you? It'll tell you how long you're recording for. 23 minutes. Okay. Well, we're that's good. Not bad. Yeah, that's pretty good. So let's talk about how to make a plan. What is a good okay. plan? Maybe we'll entitle the video how to make an anxiety plan. It's got to be, it's, it's the small steps, man. You've, because this is going to be different for everybody because people are at different places. Exactly. Like if I was Correct. to make a plan now, it would be different to a plan that I would have made maybe two months ago. Right. You know what well, I mean? so, the things you, you are doing would be different, but the yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah. That's it. That's the point. Yeah. 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 So what, what would the difference be now? My phone would not ring that as often. Number one, silence your phone. <laughs> Freaking children. Don't have hey, kids. Man. That would be the plan. <laughs> Too late. Yeah. Yeah. Damn. So uh, I don't know. There'd just be there'd just be bigger challenges, I guess. That yeah. would be the only difference. Further from home or right, right. F further from the car, just putting a bit more pressure on. Like if you remember, I was saying, I think it was the last time we did this, and I was saying I want to scale it right back and mm -hmm. like not do the two big things a week. Instead of doing yeah. that, do like five, six smaller things a week. So it's more right. often. So that's what I started doing. Like I was going to my local shop every day with my son. And yeah. it's, you know, we were walking up and down every single aisle because I was examining everything. That was the point that just, I was making. Just to stay there. Yeah, right? yeah, just just yeah. to be in the shop, to be in the place. Yeah. And I had I had yeah. one day where it was, it weren't great. I felt like shite, but 
Yeah. Yes. One out of like five or six times that we did it. I'll take that. Yeah, exactly. And so doing those small things every day, I'm going to say has made a difference. Yeah. Yeah. Massively. Like yeah. A, the video, the video that I did yesterday with Ben, like walking around the castle grounds again. Yes. I still had anxiety. Like, but it's, I don't know. Like I got it, home. I felt fine from it. It's like, I know, I just know that I'm going to get through these things now. So yeah. I feel like I can step it up a bit, but I just don't want to do too much. That's, I don't want to make that mistake that I've always made in the past. to right. just go too hard freak out and then lose the momentum lose the confidence in myself i think yeah. so i guess it's it's kind of avoiding the big things but i'm doing it because i know that they're not it's not going to be helpful it's like the flooding thing in it i guess i know yeah. that that's not work for me yeah but I, I think what you'll find is as you're doing the little things every day so you're now a few weeks into doing that if you took on a bigger challenge now it would be easier yeah yeah well like, like it freaking going to the blues thing we do we seem to do that every year for some reason go right. to the Birmingham right. round and then was, like going yeah. to nah it was it was like it was a bit edgy going in the shop but as soon as I'd rode it out as we do because that's yeah. the important thing man that's the thing that I think I've learned the most is just that it doesn't matter how I feel when I'm in it I know that it will end yeah if I if I stick with it or if I run out it makes no difference it will end so I it may as well just freaking sit with it that's exactly yeah. right you could either do something or nothing. Either way, yeah. will end. nothing yeah, yeah. is faster than something. One yeah. of the most brilliant things I ever saw was uh, when you were at the shop, the blue shop, and you know you were going to turn around and leg it out. And yeah, it was yeah. a Josh that said, well, at least walk through the store. Yeah, yeah. And like by the he, time he, you got to the exit yeah. door, it was like, I'm not leaving. It was He's been so good, man. He has been so helpful over the Christmas period. Yeah. It's been amazing. Yeah, yeah. Like, because yeah. people ask me a lot, like, what's it like? Because he's grown up with it. Like, he was only four when I had my first. So it's all he's ever really known. Right. And, like, he's, nev he's never researched it or learned anything, but he just seems to know how to push me without right. being, like, he's not negative. He doesn't make me feel bad if I, I was going to say fail, but I don't fail. But he just yeah. knows how to, he knows how to spur me on sort of thing. And it's good. Yeah. Man. It seems like he's kind of the perfect, like. He is really cool. Out of way. Like, he's yeah, cheerleading yeah. and, and supporting yeah, as yeah. opposed to, it's mm -hmm. okay, I'll go in for you. Like, that's mm -hmm. good. Really good. Yeah, so, yeah. No. So to get back to like the basics of a plan, I, I think here's why I see oh, people yeah. fall down all the time. Number one, they don't they don't make a plan. Like and you uh -huh. have to make a plan. You have to have yeah, a plan. Yeah. So and the plan is often for them, there's no plan. And the plan is or what they do do is like, I'm gonna wait and wait and wait and avoid and avoid and avoid. And then I'm gonna have to do some things, like go yeah, to yeah. a birthday party or go to a funeral or do something or a wedding or something like that mm -hmm. and then it will be a flaming dumpster fire of a day and then they don't then they feel like oh see this is horrible or they arrange their plan is to just like engineer around the feelings yeah, yeah. that mm -hmm. like oh it's good i don't have anxiety right now it's fine i'm, I'm not leaving my house but i'm not anxious yeah yeah and then, well, then that's they, where i've been right and then they mm -hmm. go from like sitting on the sofa to like this big giant thing Mm -hmm. then it doesn't go well they call it a setback and like there's like no actual methodical way to say like oh no that's here's what i'm going to do so the first thing you have to do is ask yourself well, like do you have a plan and if you don't you got to make one and yeah yeah and that plan is to say like depending on where you are like say where you are so where you are is like oh i can't leave my house or whatever it may be mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and my goal is to get you know to the other side of the world well, you don't do that in one step, like, like literally break it down into the tiniest little things. Yeah. So first, like just start with like sitting on your front step. Mm -hmm. Like that's your first exposure. And if you have to do that for two weeks until you can handle it, then you do it. And then you walk to the end of your, your walkway. Mm -hmm. And then you walk down the block a little bit. And then maybe you get in the car and just sit in the car. And then maybe you drive down the block and then maybe you drive around the block. Then like, but you do those things every single day again and again and again and again and again, mm -hmm. little tiny things. And then they add up and expect that when you're doing them, you're going to feel anxiety. Like, so smallest possible steps to rebuild the things you want to do, repeat them over and over and over tenaciously, no matter how you feel mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and expect that you will feel anxiety when you do it. If you don't, then it's not helping you in yeah, any way. Yeah. The good think, part about this is if you feel like, well, I can get in the car and drive around the block and I feel no anxiety, fine. Then you don't, then that's not an exposure for you. Yeah, you yeah, have yeah, yeah. Further. Do more. So, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And I think that's the biggest part of the plan. Like small steps consistently, tenaciously, every single day 
understanding that sometimes it's going to be hard. Understand that some days will be harder than others. And, and know that feeling anxiety or even having panic is not failure. That's, mm -hmm. that's not failure. You have yeah, yeah. to do those things. Yeah. So I think that's, yeah. the, that's, yeah. the, that's the most important part for people to realize is because they, you think that you're going to get better. You think, or you think that you're going to feel better just because you go out. Even if right. you only do it for a week, you think you're going to feel better for doing it, but you're probably yep. going to feel worse for doing it because that's what I did. Like I yep. was asking, I was asking you like three weeks ago after we'd ended the podcast, I was saying to you, like, I'm feeling like shit when I'm at home because yep. I know I'm doing this stuff. Like, so even I was questioning it 14 years in, even I was questioning whether I, what right. I was doing was the right thing to do. But I'm now, worse. yeah, yeah, yeah. Now I'm, I still feel like crap at home. Sometimes it's not as often as it was. So there's the proof but, that something well, is working. It's not as often as it was. And when you do, is it as big a deal? It doesn't seem to be. It doesn't seem right. to be. I can, I can sort of just brush it off at the moment. That's like, I'll just sit with it. That's the key. Yeah, like, all right, fine, it'll go away. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. And so I, I think that key is, is like doing those small little things and break it down. Like Raven Lynn yesterday, she posted a video walking just down the alley in front of her house. Uh -huh. So she, and I hope she doesn't mind. I don't think she's going to mind, but hopefully it, she's a really good example of that where she mm -hmm. was doing the old like homebound thing. And then like, Oh, it was awesome. I went out to dinner and then I went and visited my family and things that were huge, huge, huge. And she didn't panic. So she thought that was good. Yeah, and then then she went out again a day or two later, had a big panic attack, and felt like, "Oh, forget it, I'm agoraphobic again." But mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that's not how it works. So she I seen that light bulb see... moment. Well, I got to break this down into tiny little things. Yeah, yeah, I seen. Uh, I think it was Chrissy Gomez posted saying she was on day three without anxiety. I hope this continues, and like, no, right, that's right. The bit. Don't hope that it. Just don't care whether it continues or not. I mean, I mean, I'm happy that she feels good. Of yeah, course. yeah, yeah, of course, right. yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I think that's part of that plan, too. Don't be misguided in what your goals are. So that thing that says, be happy. Like, oh, I've had three really good days. That's, that's yeah, good. Yeah. It's yeah. Not, not a bad thing. But just don't do that whole, like, oh, God, I hope. Because then you're, you, you're doing that thing where you're forgetting, like, no, you're in control of that process. So mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. if you sit there and say, well, I've had three days where I've had, no, I haven't had any panic or I've had very little anxiety, you know, cross my fingers that it doesn't come yeah, back. Yeah. You cross your fingers. Like, yeah. you don't need luck. You don't you need to hold it. That, yeah, yeah, that adds adds tension automatically. That does doing stuff like it, that. It does to a certain extent, and I think even those statements, like your plan has to, your plan is behavioral. It's cognitive. It's it's um, it's vocal. Like, how do you talk about your anxiety now? Like, part of the plan, small steps, tenaciously, every day, repeat, 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 repeat. If you watch the video that I did yesterday with Leslie, you know, we mm -hmm. talked about like sex and intimacy, but she had some like outstanding points in general about like repetition, repetition, mm -hmm. repetition, repetition, repetition. That's how you do it. So, so you need a partner for that. Well, for that activity. <laughs> but, <sighs> you know, I don't know. It's a thing. But, but, you know, she was applying it to just about anything, learning to drive again or get out of the house, whatever it is. So there's that. But then you also have to – so you're changing the way you behave, but you also have to change the way you start to think and talk about this stuff too. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah and some definitely. have to stop doing the like, this is horrible, this is awful, this is terrible, this is the worst, mm -hmm. I hate this, I hate this, I hate this. Like, okay, you know, when you do that, you're, you're giving it that aura that says this is an external force that I cannot control that comes yeah, and yeah. rolls on. And that's not mm -hmm. true because you're in control at all times. So, I mean, that's another aspect of the plan. Change the way you start talking about it and thinking about it. So, yeah, yeah. I mean, I would, I would think that I'm guessing you are probably thinking and talking about this way differently now than you were a month ago. Way less. That's the oh, point. way less. Like, okay. Yeah, you, you've probably noticed that I'm just not in the group. Like, I'm not commenting. I'm that's, just, that's I, good. I've completely just, I've changed everything. That's what I feel like. Yeah. Like, I'm, I'm focusing on things that I enjoy doing, like Netflix, yeah. PlayStation. Whatever. Talking to talking to people about just normal stuff, like watching a bit yeah. more football, soccer, going yeah. out more. Right, just, right. That's Pick what it feels like. Whatever it takes. Exactly, man. Salt and vinegar Pringles. Hell yeah. <laughs> and that matters. So what will happen is you start to do these little tiny tasks and you repeat them again and again and again. And suddenly you realize like, oh, it, this is taking less of my attention all the time. Even though you're still in the middle of it. And yeah, you're still yeah. doing the work, but yeah, yeah. between those sessions, you you may start to find like, oh wait, I'm not consumed entirely with that's what my point. next step is going to be. Yeah, yeah, happen. that's the thing for me. Yeah, I'm not. Like, so, I'm sort of. I'm not really planning. I think I'm past this. 
like because we've got this plan thing going past that. I think yeah. I know I know enough about this and myself to know that I don't need to make like an exposure step ladder. That's what I've heard it referred to. Right. You know, right. I, I just so, I know I know what I can do. I know what's going to cause me anxiety, so I can just work on those things. But if you're starting out, like that was the first thing that I ever did was made five things, a list of five things, and just work on the first one. Be in the post box, man. Yeah, yeah. And like, if you can't make it to the post box, then make the goal the post box, but just take the steps. Like you said, put your shoes yeah. on, sit on your front right. step, walk down right. your path until you reach the post box and then keep doing it. And then, well, anticipatory anxiety is always going to be part of that. You have to accept that that's going to be part yeah, of it. Yeah. So when you yeah. say like the post boxes, you know, if that's your goal, your first goal, you're going to get that 200 yards down the block mm -hmm. to get to the post box. You know, you're going to have like really serious anticipatory anxiety, even thinking about it at yeah, first. Yeah. Definitely. So fine. So that's practice too. Like mm -hmm. practice the anticipation and just sometimes you don't even get out the door. Sometimes you just have to go through the, the motions of put on my shoes, put on my coat, stand by the door, mm -hmm. get undressed, do it again, do it again, do it again, do it again. Do yeah, it again. Yeah. So like as crazy as it sounds and those things matter, like when you rebuild the, to the point where you don't go into a panic, just thinking about putting your shoes on, which some people do, mm -hmm. I understand mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It, it makes a lot of difference. And so, yeah. And then, and then you change your focus and you start talking mm -hmm. about it differently. And suddenly you feel like, well, wait, maybe I do have some control over this, which you do. Mm -hmm. You always do. So, you know, it, it cannot involve continually looking to the outside mm -hmm. solution. Um, I think I will just add something that you said to me. I don't know if we said it on the, video or if we said it afterwards but like just doing stuff around the house as well like doing housework and stuff yeah, just being exactly. being active like yeah. that's something that i've really noticed myself doing like i've actually tidied the house <laughs> yay and, and so you but just do something it. and you got out of your own head yeah, exactly just doing mm. some like being involved in something other than researching yeah. or sitting dwelling and thinking about right. stuff right yeah, Think, yeah talking and posting and reading and like and it's yeah. funny because you see the behavior change. Like if you, if you're in the group and if you're not in the group, join the group, which we always say, we'll put a link, but mm -hmm. um, you see the behavior change. Like people will come in and they are posting constantly. They're, they comment on every yeah, thread yeah. Uh -huh. all the time. You can see they're yeah, just yeah. watching all the time. Totally normal. And then as mm -hmm. they progress, they start to mm -hmm. comment less or their comments mm -hmm. change. I'm asking questions to offering help. And then they, yeah, they're yeah. there less and less. Like that's normal. Mm -hmm. So as opposed to just sitting there and like saying, well, what's the best way to describe this because i always say do nothing but you can do nothing while you're doing something yeah, so when yeah. i say nothing you kind of have to start with literally nothing mm -hmm. so the plan has to involve do nothing when you feel that way and i think the way you learn to do nothing is to literally do nothing like literally just sit or stand there and do nothing that's the third phone call third or phone call you are in demand is what it is <sighs> go on it's josh yeah. probably asking for his toblerone package <laughs> My granddad's hey, found out. He watched the video. <laughs> he he watched the video. The jigs up. <laughs> um, yeah, and I think it has to start with literally doing nothing. But then you can learn to do nothing while you're doing something too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There is my mindfulness and activity. There is you can do nothing while you're doing the laundry or cooking dinner mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. walking the dog. That's not that can be nothing too. So nothing yeah, in the end really means just directly reacting to the sensations or the thoughts. Yeah, that's the, that's the thing. That's yeah, truly do, what nothing is, right? Yeah, do nothing as a response to that. Correct. Just and So at first, you're just going to literally sit or stand still to do nothing, mm -hmm. to learn mm -hmm. how to do nothing. Then after that, you can go about and like go on a walk or you know read a book or play PlayStation or something. You'll learn the difference between distracting and just living. You'll learn it, right? Like it's a, it's a fine difference, but you know it now. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, it's a fine difference. So I don't know. I don't have any other like basic tenets of a plan other than break it down, small steps. Do not expect to go from zero to like, yep. I, I can't do these things. So I just do them once every two weeks. Mm -hmm. Hope for the best. That's Stop. what I've done. I've spent 14 years doing that. So if you need any proof that that shit doesn't work, look this side of the screen. And if you need proof that doing it every day, look at the other side. Well, well, now, now, now you, now it's working for you, so there you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's because I've changed. I've changed yeah. my method now. I've changed things. Yeah, and, and you know, I guess that that bears noting. Like, I'm going to bring this up. So, oh, what have I done? The me you didn't do anything. Yeah, actually, <laughs> no. But you actually bring up a good point. You changed your method. Mm -hmm. Like, and so you, 
and this is going to sound so wrong, but I'm going to say it anyway. So you change your method and you're doing it kind of the way I did it. Not because I invented it. I didn't invent uh -huh. any of this. I invented uh -huh. none of this. I take no credit. I'm regurgitating what uh -huh. people who be have come before me have done. Uh -huh. So I'm just standing on, the on their shoulders, right? And in the end, that thing that we always go back to, and it becomes a sore point in the group where everybody's different and everybody's different and different things uh -huh. work for different people. Yeah, guess what? We're all the same. And yeah, this yeah, yeah. shit works for uh -huh. everybody. In this specific situation where you have modified your life to get around feeling panic and anxiety, this works this way. Yes. Now, then you can address whatever your underlying things are. That's totally mm -hmm. fine. Mm -hmm. But I am, you know, I'm getting worn down with the different things for different people. Yeah, yeah. Because I mean, it's, in the end, it's not to say that like hypnosis might not make people feel better and CBD might make people feel better. But right. this this is going to work for everybody 100%. Like, if you yeah. dedicate yourself to it. I believe that. Yeah, I, yeah. Like, it doesn't matter whether hypnosis works for you or not. Guess what? This would work as well. So Right. I, I can pretty much guarantee you that since you're not an alien and your brain is the same as mine and yours and everybody else, uh -huh. walking the planet, this will work. It, it actually does exactly. work. Exactly. That's it. So you can wonder if hypnosis works or if... Yeah, yeah. Or if anything else. But why waste your time? Like, don't waste your time. Just well, let's try everything. I guess if you want to. No, fuck think... that. Just do this because this, like, why not? If I you know. want your life back, then I want my freaking life back. Yeah. Then this, this is the only way that I'm getting myself out the door is by getting Listen, myself out the door. Yeah, she mentioned. Leslie mentioned that yesterday in the, in the video too. Like, if you want your life back, you got to get in the fight. Like yeah, she yeah. literally used the term, you got to get in the fight and fight for yourself. So Boxing gloves. I'm not picking on hypnosis, you know, or anything like that. I mean, but like, that's not really getting in the fight. Yeah, so yeah. an external thing, if I take this pill or say these words or read this book or talk to this person, it will vape, this stuff. Me, vape this stuff, whatever it is. So I think, I think that's that, that thing that's, that's the other thing that I find is, I'm not going to say there are people who will will swear and they're they're correct. I'm not they're not lying. That like, well, I used to have serious anxiety problems, but I started taking like, doing lavender oil and exercising every day and blah, blah blah. And it's great, and and they start to live better lives, which is awesome. But then when it comes back and pokes through, they still haven't learned to not be yeah, afraid yeah. of it. Yeah, so yeah. they escaped it with sniffing lavender essential oils and like eating certain foods and convincing themselves like if I eat sugar, I'm going to have a panic attack and die. Uh -huh. So, like, I look at this process as it's almost inoculation against panic. Like, you're now inoculating yourself against panic. So, if it comes back in six months or mm -hmm. six weeks or six years, you just say, oh, right, that again. And, yeah, it's and like you, you just you start re reducing stuff in your life, like taking stuff away. You'll end up in a freaking just a room with nothing yeah. in there. And, yes, I didn't feel anxiety. No. I, I could tell you that I know, and I think this has to do with the plan. I, I know one particular person, and I won't say who it is, who I think had built that as part of their recovery. Like, they had built a very regimented, I do this, then I do this, then right. I do this, then I do this. Mm -hmm. And they were trying to, like, control everything their body and their mind did. Yeah, yeah. You know what? That's part of a plan. You have to have that routine, and it's fine. They were executing that plan flawlessly. Mm. And then suddenly, in the last month or so, that – has, that routine has been broken for a variety of reasons. Uh -huh. So now there are different things happening, things that that person was doing that they thought they had to do mm -hmm. to protect themselves. They're not doing, and lo and behold, like, oh, yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. even though I didn't do this thing that I think I have to do, I'm still okay. Mm -hmm. And that's because it was learning the skills mattered. So it doesn't matter if I don't do this thing or if I do do this thing that I think I shouldn't do. Oh, wait, yeah, I yeah. Did. yeah. I felt a little crappy today, but I was still mm -hmm. okay. So, yeah, if you're trying to re like cut out all the things that you think cause anxiety mm -hmm. or add things that you think help anxiety, yeah, like yeah. in the end, you know, you're actually learning anything. So. It was pretty funny. On Christmas Day when we did the town walk, we got to the car park and I realized that I'd not taken a bottle of water with me. Like, it didn't create any, but it was just like, no way. That wasn't the first thing I thought before I left the house. Like, make yeah. sure I got my water. Like, that's how much I weren't even thinking about what I was doing. It was just, yeah. let's just go do and, it. And you remember those days when, like, I, I had those days. Where, like, oh, my God, I don't have my water with me. I cannot yeah, go yeah. out. Uh -huh. yeah. And uh, so that, that stuff is kind of crazy. But I, I, I sometimes I'm liking it, too. Yeah.
I was okay. going to say that's kind of like how you can sort of gauge your progress when you start forgetting those things that you thought you needed to survive yeah. the ordeal. You right. know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, and, and, and then you realize you don't have it, but then you think, well, so I don't care. Yeah. But yeah, there's exactly. that moment that where you say, uh -huh. like, well, I don't have it, but all right. Yeah, we'll that's, carry on. that's a big day. Right. We'll carry on anyway. It's a big day. Mm. The, the day, and I, I tell the story sometimes, like, um, my doctor had given me, you know, like I, I had Xanax as a benzo. Mm -hmm. Give me like 90 of them because like 90 tablets for like ten dollars in the us they give it to you and i would yeah. and at, at the end of a year i still have 89 of them left because i cut mm -hmm. one into like pieces you know and um and i carry them around for mm -hmm. years i carried them around. and i remember yeah, yeah. the first time i got to my office and realized like oh i forgot to put them in my briefcase mm -hmm. and i had to stop and think like all right sorry like yeah. i can never take them anyway so what's we'll the point manage. yeah yeah exactly it's a big day so I think, you know, I kind of liken it to the process of like learning to play, you know, like playing the guitar, guitar pick. So mm -hmm. I can learn just, I could watch YouTube videos and just learn where to put my fingers on the fretboard and learn mm -hmm. to play specific songs. But if I don't actually know that I'm playing a B or a D or a G or an A flat, yeah, yeah. and I don't learn the skill, then all I know how to do is that song. Yeah, I don't yeah. know why not. But so like learn the notes. Mm -hmm. Learn, learn the, we're learning the notes is what we're doing. We're learning, yeah, yeah, that's it. The, yeah, 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 yeah. So that's the plan. That's how to make a plan. That's it. That's good to me. Break it down. Small as possible thing. Be tenacious. Act when you when you feel terrible. Mm. Act feel terrible. Like don't wait. Like oh, and never fall into that trap of like oh yesterday was so good I was out all day so today I'll just take it easy. Yeah, I, I still do that. Well, but you but can I've, start to judge. The further I've along made, you get, the more you can do that. Yeah, I've made, I have made a decision to, like, le I leave the house every day, like, regardless. It doesn't matter no what, what I do. I just, yeah, I leave the house. Something. Even if it's, yeah, even if it's only in the car to, like, take Lula somewhere or go visit Whatever. my dad. Like, I'll go to my dad's if I have nothing else to do. I'll literally just drive to my dad's, have a cup of tea with him, and then come yeah. home. Just something just every day. Out. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's so important. And that thing that says, like, well, yesterday was a big day, so I'll rest today. Mm -hmm. Like, rest is usually a term, a, a, another word for, like, avoiding. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And as you get further down the road, you, you'll you get better at knowing, like, yeah, I could take today off. It's fine. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Like, it's not yeah, like, yeah. Or I feel sick. That's fine. But but in the beginning, you must do it every single day, every, every, yeah. every single day, as opposed to, like, well, I'm having a good day. And if you're trying to do the big things, you wait till you have good days. Oh, I feel good today, so today I'll try to shop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nope, nah, better off to go that. out and just walk around the block when you're having a really bad day. Much mm -hmm. better. Mm -hmm. That's it. That's the plan. It's my plan plan. Do it. So I have a plan. I have a plan for tomorrow. I might, I'm tempted to go to like a dog's, it's called the dog's trust over here, and I might okay. rehome a dog. I'm tempted. Meaning like? It's a rescue dog, basically. Rehome a dog, meaning you'll adopt the dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Awesome. I'm very, very tempted. I'm going to go there tomorrow and have a look around. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's all right. So that sounds pretty exciting. Yeah. It's like it's a good distance away. The place is in Kenilworth. It's probably like maybe 30 minutes, 40 minutes away. I've right. been there before, like years ago. But yeah. yeah. So That's what's my... the challenge? What's the challenge there? The challenge is not the distance. You're okay with distance. Yeah. I suppose the distance is fine. It's getting out of the car, walking in the place. Yeah. You know, just and normal. If you do it, now you're there while they're doing the paperwork and. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. You have to sit and talk to somebody. But I've got the my experiences, like sitting in the estate agents, getting this place, this house. Yeah. You know, yeah. like, there's nothing that I haven't done before. So yeah, I've been to the doctor right after the vertigo thing. Oh yeah, you've just you just reminded me. I got I've got my appointment for the ENT, but it's not till March sixth. So that's going to be something. For, yeah, that's pretty freaking yeah. long. So that's going to be like I've got to go to a hospital for that. So that's going to be pretty oh. big because I haven't been in them vestibular testing and all that stuff like i would imagine so like i would yeah. imagine so yeah yeah so that's going to be like i'm not nervous about it at all at the minute but i don't yeah. like for me i don't sort of i don't have the apprehension until like maybe a few days before it that's how things right. work with me usually so yeah. i'm not bothered about it and i like if i if i was to have to go now i'd go like fine no worries but yeah. we'll see when march 6 comes <laughs> yeah but <laughs> I, I, I think still if you, you keep doing what you're doing then um, that's, the, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah, yeah. If I carry on on the trajectory, I know it's not always just freaking uphill, but right. But when you get to March fourth, you know, two days before, three days mm. before, you probably will feel way better about doing it. I would hope so. Yeah, yeah. It won't nearly be as bad as maybe past 
experience. Yeah, 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 yeah. Anticipation. Yeah. So it's all good. Oh, you should totally get a dog. Yeah, I, I, I probably will, man. I probably what will. Do I know? I'm not the one who has to clean your yard and feed the dog. So that's, that's all right. I'll do it. Well, because well, I'm always at home. I work from home. They just yeah. give me an, another reason to go out, like walk right. the dog. Walk the dog. Yeah, but you yeah. did a bunch of videos with the dog. You know, back did indeed. I did yeah. indeed. My old Very dog. Cool. Yeah. Huh. I want a bigger dog this time. Yes, get a, like one of those real dogs. Um, I believe it was Ron Swanson. <laughs> Parks and Recreation. A real any, dog. Any dog under fifty wow. pounds. It's any a cat. Cats any are pointless. Jack Russell's watching this or Yorkshire Terrier. I apologize. Uh, <sighs> he meant he meant no harm. Get a big dog. Any dog. I will stand by that statement. Any dog under fifty <laughs> pounds is a cat, and cats are pointless. <laughs> so now that example. I agree with. I agree with that. <laughs> fifty pounds, twenty-five kilos, or whatever the hell. Yeah. Or, Stone, seven stone. Um, seven stone. I'm converting on the fly. A seven stone cat. Seven stone. Seven hell, st- that would be big. <laughs> that would be a big ass cat. So the stone That's is 14, seven pounds, right? 14 oh, pounds. pounds. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> I totally had that wrong. That four stone cat. Even then. <laughs> Jeez. What are you feeding this cat? Yeah, right. Exactly. You have to back up on the food a little bit. So, yeah. what else we got? We had a couple more comments here. I Talk about number. Talk about not Let's putting a time limit on it. Isn't, is Netflix a good thing? <laughs> is Netflix a good thing? You got sucked in, didn't you? Yeah, big time. 17 hours on Homeland in the last three days. It happens. That is a, that is a lot. Been there, done that. Is, That's so. how I watched um, Sons of Anarchy, about the motorcycle yeah, yeah. game. Uh-huh. That was a few years old now, but I'd never seen it. I saw like two episodes on Netflix, and like mm-hmm. in like four days, I watched like five seasons of it. Didn't shave, didn't leave the house. It was oh, horrible. God. It's bad, isn't it? <laughs> it is bad. You do, you get sucked into it so bad. Well, if just basically, one more, just one more. yeah, just I'll, I'll be all right. Well, I figured I can't sleep anyway. I may as well just fill my time with Homeland. It's good. Yeah, fine. Hey, so you're up all night. Who cares? Yeah, just what? Drag your daughter to school, drag yourself home, sleep a little bit. Yeah, yeah. It's fine. Let's Go on. What yeah. comments you got? Your life. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, Let's see, comments. We're just everywhere. Eddie DT. Ooh. The anxiety from work affecting family life and anxiety from daily life accepting work and professional. Uh, I mean, I don't know if that's that's necessarily an anxiety disorder question. Like, there's anxiety in all parts of life. So Eddie's talking about, like, if you're having a shitty day at work, you, know, you come home and, like, yell at your wife or whatever. Unless just, you're already at home. And you unless you're already at home. <laughs> right, in which case you don't even have to get up. <laughs> just yell at your kids uh... at home. Yeah, it's not. It's a good question. I think it's a little bit. That's its own episode in a way. Like, I was going to say, yeah, the work thing. The work thing's tricky. Yeah, it, that, actually, that's a topic. That's mm. a good topic. I don't well get done, Eddie. To work. Yeah, yeah, we'll do that. One. Good job, Eddie. So you win the topic uh, lottery. Mm. And Molly just mentioned now when he says talk about not putting a time limit on this, <laughs> as like people are just going to keep commenting, which is funny. But uh, Molly asks how. Uh, let's talk about how to help others on the forum. As okay. you know. I mentioned to someone how not to talk about symptoms because that does not help the recovery of anxiety, but then it turned into a mess. Um, anyway, tips on how to handle this or should I just shut up? No, Molly should definitely not shut up. Don't Never shut, shut up. up. No. Never shut up. How to help people on the forum. I'm, a, I'm probably a bad guy to talk about that because I'm just like a, you know, I'm not well, known no, because like you, Yeah, but that, you are helping people. There's a reason that you are the way you are on there. Yeah. Um, so Molly, I think the answer to that is you, um, it depends if it's a new person you haven't seen before, there's a good chance that they might be new to the whole thing. Yeah, and so yeah. usually what we see, and I think you probably agree with this bill is like, um, somebody new shows up and the first thing they do is start to ask, does anybody else get this symptom or that symptom? Mm-hmm. Like it's pretty normal. It's totally normal. But mm-hmm. new people also tend to just read voraciously through the form because yeah, yeah. they're looking yeah. for stuff. And they start to see like, oh, this we don't do that so much here. So if you mm-hmm. notice, those things tend not to last that long. So mm-hmm. I try to say like, well, if this is a new person, I expect them to do that. Give them a um, bit of leeway. Yeah, not leeway. It's not like they don't need leeway or like whatever. I don't know. Like Before you bring the hammer down. Before the hammer comes out. Yeah, no. And I, but I think what winds up happening is they, they make a post and people will kind of support them. Like, yes, it happens yeah, to yeah. me too. It's just anxiety and after the third or fourth time they do that you see people will start to chime and not even me mm-hmm. i'm like well you have to stop thinking about that so i think molly you just keep doing what you're doing 
yeah, yeah, exactly. It's, there's it's no, totally... there's no right or wrong way, is there? Really, it's just no. like we can no. stick to stick to the way that it works or what, the way that we know that it works. Is to yeah. just not not focus on the symptoms and that because that's not helpful. And I think it does make a <laughs> it does make for such an and I feel like I talk about this too much now, but I, I feel like I keep needing to address it. It does make for such an unusual environment mm-hmm. in this little group of ours of twelve. Yeah, yeah. It, is uh-huh. it makes for an unusual circumstance. So the hypnosis thing, and Adriana, if you're watching, Adriana, Adriana and I now have run into each other a couple of times. Like uh-huh. she, somehow she thought I took a run at her yesterday because she asked the question, tagged me specifically about uh-huh. hypnosis. There was a bunch of really good answers. I did read them all. Like yeah. Holly answered very, very concisely. She did a good job, I think. But mm-hmm. Adriana specifically tagged me, and uh, my response was not like, "Don't talk about this hypnosis mm-hmm. is shit." You know, I said, well, ask yourself what you're trying to get out of it. Like, I think it was a reasonable yeah, yeah. question. And then, but part of the underlying thread in that discussion was the whole, like, um, you know, is this okay? Like, I'm, you're, gonna, you're going against the forum. Like, mm-hmm. it's mm-hmm. a cult. Like, it's not a cult. It's, a, it's not. It's not. So, like, it's not. Nobody is required to like what I say or you say, what Holly says or what anybody says. And I think, but, but we are focused in a direction that most places are not. So I don't know what to, I'm not sure I'm what to just say. Send, I'm just sending a message. <laughs> oh, great. Okay. <laughs> do what you got to do. It's totally fine. But that thing where like, you know, am I going? And then I just try to comment and say like, it's, you know, it's okay to ask the question. There's a difference. Yeah, yeah. Because she, because Adriana herself said that, like, you know, I know it's, you know, we don't want to talk about like, did you, what, what else to do and like trying magic cures. Like asking a question, has anybody done, you know, tried hypnosis is a reasonable question. It's not a terrible Yeah, of course. That's it. I mean, she's not advertising hypnosis. That's the point. Maybe she's inquiring to see whether is that something that would work for me. Maybe. It's a totally question, I think. Like, has anybody else tried this or whatever? It's totally fine. I think the, the problem occurs when people come in and say, I'm using CBD. It's cured my panic. You need to try it. Like, that's when it becomes an issue. Yeah, it does to a certain extent. Yeah, yeah. Or somebody were to respond and say, yeah, it worked great, then okay, well, let's find out more about that then. Yeah, um, yeah. yeah it's not like nobody was talking about a miracle cure or, or mm-hmm. anything like that. So that's totally fine. And I think it's a it's a fine line that we walk sometimes. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of, it's an inquiry there. Like you say, it's usually the uh, new people. It's the new people that come in and they yeah. they see that it's just, it's an anxiety group. And let's be honest, 90% of the fucking groups on Facebook are bullshit. Yeah, it's the, they look the same, and that's fine. So they either feel like, okay, this is for me. I'm going to hang around with these folks, or like, oh, well, I'm, this isn't for me, and they leave. And that's okay. And I wish yeah, them well. Yeah. Uh-huh. But I think in the end, the issue of like, let's talk about alternative treatments or whatever the hell like that. Like those questions are always going to come up. The the <clears> difference <throat> is the best way I could probably put it is it can't you can't show up in a place like this where we're focused on a specific thing and then demand that mm-hmm. we also talk about your favorite, you know, lavender yeah, yeah. oil, mm-hmm. like. You could go to the lavender oil forum then. So that's all. Yeah, yeah, that's I, I, in a way, yeah, uh-huh. I think in the end, you can't demand, well, this is a recovery forum, so I want to talk about anything I want to talk about. Well, there are many places to do that. So uh-huh. that's all. Like, yeah. uh, truly, like, I, I don't need people to agree or I don't like, need people, you know, none of that. You go in, it's like going to soccer practice, but taking a rugby ball with you and saying, we're going to use this. Right. We're no, gonna, we're that's exactly right. We're not going to be right. It's not rugby. Go to, go to the rugby team. That's totally yeah. fine. I hope you have a good time. Mm. So I, that I'm never going to understand. That whole thing I'm never going to understand. Like, well, you know, you just, you know, we won't. How come we, not, we can't talk about any of this? your way of the highway. Well, no, in a way, it's this method. This is what we talk about here. So, mm. Mm. yeah, don't. I think that's don't. the perfect line. Don't take a rugby ball to soccer practice. Right, there you exactly. Go. Stick different. that in the forum. Habit. Yeah. There you go. Stick it. Do not bring a rugby ball. It's like, all right, do that. It's totally good. So anyway, whatever. Address that again. But Molly, don't shut up. Just keep offering yeah. to help. Keep yeah. going on and on and on <laughs> like you bloody do, women. <laughs> no, I'm joking. <laughs> oh, no. That's dead. That's way off the rails. <laughs> My bad. It's a thing. It's a thing. I have to drink a water. All right. What else we got? I'm out. Man. I'm, out of, I'm out of ideas. Good. I think that's about it, man. I think it's about it. We've probably been going for a little while now. I have to get, get my hair cut in about an hour. I need it desperately. So we're just we're just approaching the hour mark. So oh wow, let's, let's run it for an hour. I don't know what else I've got to say, but we'll run it for an hour. Let me see. What can I tell you about what you've been doing? 
How, I'll tell, here's an interesting one because we did two episodes talking about Christmas and the New Year and the festivities. How was it for you? How was it for me? It was like it never happened. It was a, such a strange really? year. I think I mentioned yeah, yeah. the episode we did on Christmas mm-hmm. too. Like, it didn't feel like Christmas to me. It still mm-hmm. didn't feel. Like so really? Christmas came, went. I mean, I got I had like the worst stomach virus like hit me on Christmas Day. So um, I was that week for like three days. Um, it was like a weird, like a lost week. It was just, yeah. it was okay. You know, I was, I, I have no complaints. It wasn't bad. It just didn't feel like anything special to me for some unknown yeah. reason. Yeah. So actually, Christmas night, I wound up like on my, happily on my own. Christmas night, like I just okay. yeah, you did a video. Yeah, and yeah. I did, I did that live thing. I'm like, yeah, I'll do yeah. that. By the end of that, to be totally, honest, we can talk about that a little bit. By the end of that. I was so nauseous. Like, I couldn't wait really? to get off the video. I'm yeah. like, I'm going to get sick on video. This is not going to be pretty. Uh-huh. So it was hitting me at that point. Then I spent the next three days just flat on my back. But um, yeah. I was thinking about it. Like, what is the difference? Like, so many people, when they get sick, they just, it's such a challenge. Like, mm-hmm. anxiety goes through the roof and they start to panic. And I'm like, why do I feel like I'm literally going to die here? But yet I'm not, I don't care. What yeah, makes yeah. it different? Yeah. yeah. So I did think about that. So that was my that was my Christmas. You had a good one then. <laughs> yeah, other than just being sick well, and doing nothing, losing track of the days. I will say, like, I was kind of dreading this Christmas. I think I said it in videos. Like, I was, I didn't know how I was going to feel. Like, would I feel emotional on Christmas night because I was at home yeah. on my own? Christmas yeah. Eve, I was on my own, and then Christmas Day, I was on my own. But yeah. I tell you what, it has been the best festive period that I have had for no a, a long time, man. Yeah, it was so weird. Like, this year we didn't have, or I didn't have a lot of money for, like, gifts and stuff, so the kids didn't have a lot. But it made yeah. Christmas feel so much better. Like, we had it Boxing Day the day after. But yeah. it, because it, it weren't about gifts. Like, we were sitting around playing board games and just having a laugh and that. And, like, Christmas dinner was funny this year. It was just, it was so much better than I anticipated. It was That's crazy. Nice. Yeah, what yeah. Is, why was that, do you think? What did it? There was no arguments. I think what? that was... Okay. I think that was a massive part of it. There was no Me, bad vibes. Because yeah. of the bad vibes we've seen, yeah. That yeah. She, she, yeah. she shall not be named. I think, I, think, I think that's what it was, man. The kids were just relaxed. It weren't all about gifts. It weren't about who's got what and who's had the most yeah. spent. It was just... You were just enjoying so cool. things together. Yeah, yeah. It was mad. Yeah. Crazy. I would not have expected it to turn out like that. Looking I forward know to you're a little bit Christmas. apprehensive. Yeah, 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 yeah big time. Yeah. yeah. That's that's really good. It's really weird, good. weird, isn't it? It's weird, man. It's, it's crazy. Just when you think it could, might be bad, like it could, this mm. could be a bad one, and it turns mm. out to not not be a bad one at all. Yeah, I was thinking like mentally, I thought I was going to struggle with it, like yeah, just being on my own for like the thing that I was thinking was Christmas Eve night. Like, am am I going to feel just anything? But no, right. just Nothing. watched a watched a couple of movies on Netflix. Jobs are good in. Let's go. Yeah, that's so funny. It starts to feel like for me, it's, it's kind of felt like any other day. That's true. So yeah. like, that's good. You could sort of detach the expectation. Like, I must feel festive on mm. December twenty fourth mm. and twenty fifth. Like, well, yeah, maybe yeah. you won't. Whatever. Yeah, yeah. You just felt festive on the twenty sixth. Good deal. Good. Yeah, it was that's all really good. Good. Well, really I was good. just going to say something else, but it's completely gone out of my head, and I can't remember what it was. <laughs> I hate when that God happens. Damn it. Um. Let's talk a little bit about, so you're out and about much more. Let's talk about yeah, the yeah. physical conditioning thing. Like, mm-hmm. it's funny because um, somebody had mentioned, Danny from Australia was saying Andrew should do like a video of like exercising at his home gym. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which I thought yeah. was really kind of cool. Mm-hmm. Um, do you, are you feeling like a little bit more physically competent now that you're just out every day? I mean, you know, it's not like you're out climbing mountains, but has it made it's a difference in, in any way? It's in the plans. Not <laughs> climbing, out. man. Yeah, man. Sorry. You got uh... mountains. Yeah, we've got a few. They're only li- they're probably just hills for you. Yeah, like hills. hills. That's exactly right. <laughs> no, in New York, we don't have mountains. We have to go upstate. Wait. Yeah. For... yeah. Uh-huh. yeah. I don't know whether I'm I'm feeling any different, really. Not really. Yeah. I don't yeah. think so. Just less. I think less stressed. Like yeah. we, I I said to you like a couple of months ago, I was feeling pretty much down and out, man. Yeah. Just got, I was losing faith in knowing that this shit works. Like just weren't prepared to put myself through it i would right. just do do what i had to do like the school run was the only thing i had to do and that's all i was doing yeah now i i've just remembered what it is i was going to say good because we're leading on to it but just like 
I don't know, this year, this year, I've said it to a few people, I'm making 2019 the year of being selfish because I want to get myself a life, man. And I yeah. feel that that's the only way that I can do it is just put myself first for a bit. I said it in a few videos, didn't I? Like, that's that's what I intend to do now. Yeah, but it, you kind of have to. It's yeah, okay. yeah, exactly. I think people feel that they shouldn't, though. Like, they feel bad because, oh, right. can't go do this because I've got to work on myself. Well, no, yeah. work on yourself because eventually then you'll be able to do all the other things, like with right. the family and stuff, you know? And I think, you know, so when you work on yourself, you may, maybe you feel it's not being selfish. I mean, so when you're better, you're a better dad, you're a better friend, you're yeah, better yeah, exactly. Exactly. So put the so. work in now. That's that's my plan. Is like this year, 2019. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, we might get to freaking February, and I just can't be bothered <laughs> sitting there in my underpants watching Homeland series. <laughs> <freaking> <laughs> <six>. <laughs> who cares? Oh, geez. Yeah, I ain't I'm letting that happen. So, just no, so you know, I will I'm get just, on I'm just, and come back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just <laughs> going with going with how I feel now. It's just like I'm ready. Put the effort in yeah. every yeah. freaking day. Let's do this. That's you. There's nothing wrong with it. It's not in any way selfish. In no way is it selfish. Yeah, yeah. Think. You know, you got to take care of that shit because otherwise, yeah, no, the, not taking care of it to a certain extent might be a little more selfish. Yeah, yeah, I suppose. Yeah, look at it that way, man. So yeah. You need the whole world to sort of sort of revolve around you. Yeah, yeah. Mm. I want to mention another thing that pops in my head then. We could just do this. We could just sit here for the next two or three hours, I'm pretty sure, and just do stream of consciousness. But one thing that came up um, this past week too, or it might've been last week, I can't remember who I was talking to, but that thing where, so you're talking about 2019 is the year of feeling selfish, which is fine. Uh -huh. You put yourself first and you take care of your shit. Uh -huh. But then there's also that thing where we have to remember that when you're in the thick of it and you're constantly focused inward, you're constantly worried about how you feel. How am I going to feel? How am I going to feel if I do this? What if I have to do this thing I don't want to do? What if I have to do this thing that I can't do? You're constantly looking inward. You start to feel like, you start to act a little bit like the center of the universe to a certain mm -hmm, extent. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And what I mean is then you put even more pressure on like, well, what if I ruin Christmas? I'm going yeah, to yeah, ruin yeah, yeah. this. I'm going to ruin it for everybody. So I just want to say like, we got to get over ourselves like that mm -hmm. thing. Like really yeah, yeah. do you think you have the ability to ruin other people's lives? You do not. So, mm -hmm. and what I try and tell everybody that gets into that situation too, that this was a good discussion that I had with somebody like if, you know, if you walked out the door and heaven forbid got hit by a bus and you weren't here the next day, everybody that loves you would be very sad and their life would mm -hmm. go on. I don't mm -hmm. mean to minimize that, but yeah, no, it's true. Yeah. The added pressure of like, oh, I'm ruining everything being this way. I'm ruining it. Mm -hmm. I'm ruining mm -hmm. Like, stop. You're not ruining anything. Like, you're only, you're only impacting yourself to a certain extent. So you got to get over that. So I, I think, think it ties into that whole Yeah. Thing. Yeah. Maybe like, yeah, maybe the selfish thing, me saying that is the wrong word. But what I'm doing, no. I'm, cra I'm cracking the whip on myself. That's what, right. that's the best. Right. I'm my own cheerleader, but I'm also yeah. my own freaking slave driver. Yeah. yeah. If, if I, if I don't push myself to do it, like, the proof is in the pudding. Nobody else can make me want to do it. That's like right. being with my ex didn't make no difference. Having, unfortunately, having two children didn't make no difference. So right. I think I am, or I know that I am the only person that can make a freaking difference. Right. Only, only from inside. So that selfish mm -hmm. thing, or like that thing where people worry, like they're ruining everybody's lives around them by being this way. Like, no, not really. No, like, no. The only thing that, yeah, you can only impact yourself. And so as opposed to, being so focused on that, just be focused on moving forward. Like you're I still think, gonna, yeah, yeah. The, see that you spend on worrying about like I'm ruining it, I'm ruining everybody's things, I'm making, I'm bringing everybody down. Everybody hates me. Everybody's nobody. Like the, the amount of time you could spend thinking about that, you could actually be moving forward. So the only the only person's life that you're truly ruining is your own. Oh right. In the end, there's another it's, nugget for you. In oh. the end, that was worth hanging around for an hour right there. Yeah, it was worth the vaping else <laughs> that's it and the rugby ball and the soccer practice don't forget all of us yeah that was good too that was good too and maybe the dog like getting a dog that's always yes, fun that's good so, <laughs> so there you go what we're we gonna do each of those things could be their own topic i'm sure but yeah yeah we're good man what time is it 1048 I'm, I'm good i gotta be out the door in about go, 20 minutes yeah, you gotta go get your hair cut get that hat off gotta get this hat off yeah gotta get rid of that I'm going to give you one episode with a hat on, and that's it. One episode, that's it. Do Season not. Six. After that, do yeah. not. That's it. No more hat. <laughs> this is like this is what you do when you get up in the morning, go to the gym, you throw a hat on. That's it. So, that's it. Anyway. That's All right. So we're good. Anybody have any topic suggestions? Throw them in, man. As yeah, always. Yeah. Oh, we got Don't forget. Any, any 
we talked about work, you know, bringing work home. Yeah, we're going to, we'll do that next week, maybe. Yeah. Well, we're going yeah. to do this next week. We're back on the. Yeah. What the hell? I like yeah. it. I like doing the Saturday morning thing. Morning for yeah. me, anyway. So. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's morning for me at the moment. <laughs> it's effectively morning. <laughs> we'll deal with it. All right, brother. I'll catch you later I'm, on. I'm going to hit stop on the record. Go ahead. Hit stop. I'll like the call. like the freaking video before we yes, go. Like, subscribe, hit the bell. I, I keep saying, like, if you've got to the end now, then you know that I'm going to start uploading these on my channel as well, apart from the Christmas yeah. ones, because that's just going to yeah, look yeah. a bit weird. But let's yeah. just subscribe to Drew, that anxiety guy. Check out the group. The link's in the description. Right. No if you're watching you it on mine, hit subscribe. Watch the adventures of Bill and Ben, the anxious men. <laughs> got to plug that. Um, yes, that was really good. You should watch that. Well, anyway. incidentally, like, I'm going to keep you for two more minutes, but that's <laughs> the, he's, he's the first person that I've met that has anxiety. Like, properly had a like face-to-face conversation with, like, obviously me and you talk and that, and I've spoke to people online. But physically, okay. it was mad. It's cool. How crazy is that? Because do you know what it was reminding me of when you met Nat? When you met Natalie? Yes. Natalie all yeah, them yeah. freaking years ago. And I was saying, like, I need to do a UK meetup. Because that would be yeah. awesome. And it's she, taken this long. I think she is the only person that I've actually met, yeah. like from either the old panic station days or even. Yeah, yeah. Trying to, I, I don't think I've actually met anybody else mm-hmm. in real life. There's a few people very close, like Wendy, Wendy Schweitzer in the group. She lives 15 yeah, yeah. minutes from me. So uh-huh. maybe one day, you know. And I think there's a few people in the New York area. I was actually thinking about like doing a meetup of some kind. Yeah, like, yeah. If, yeah. We're, well, we, me and Ben were talking about like maybe going to because I know yeah. Gemma's not far away. So right. You got people. The watch party, Gemma. Get the kettle on, girl. We're coming. It would be yeah, it'd be totally cool. But yeah, yeah, we'll the, see what happens. Yesterday was really great. And by the way, like Ben got in the car and said, "Well, by the way, this is also the furthest I've driven in like years." Yeah, yeah. I know, it's dude. It's like cheering, yeah, yeah. cheering you guys on. Oh, good man. So, all right. Hit subscribe. See you guys later. Enjoy. Hit subscribe and all that stuff. Oh wait, one more thing. God, for God's sake. Get me haircut. You know, oh, no, Facebook you. video. I've been uploading the videos to Facebook and yes. no sound for people with iPhones. So I'll tell you the issue that I had yesterday with the one with yeah. Leslie. The sound was out. So I it had was... sound, but there was like between the video and the sound, oh, there was like two, two, three second delay. Yeah. So what what I've learned rapidly is it's cool to upload to Facebook because we can do the watch parties and stuff, but they uh-huh. suck at it. They are not good at it. it, it Mark has, Zuckerberg, if you're watching. Yeah, so we got yeah, Mark right, Zuckerberg, exactly. Jack Russell's, yeah, yes. Yorkshire yeah, just Terriers. so you know, you're terrible at video. I think the issue is we record, it's the Skype one. So if I just talk into the camera and put it up, it'll be fine. Uh-huh. But it's, it has something to do with the way we're recording audio is in two channels and Facebook doesn't know what to do with it. Like YouTube just happily munches on it and serves it up nicely. So I wonder if it works okay because I'm doing the editing on the video and then I'm... Uh-huh. I'm rendering it, so it's probably that's why the ads work. Oh, maybe that. No, well, I'm. Well, let me think about that. Yes, because you're pulling it into Vegas or something, and then rendering it. Yep. Whereas if I do anything with it, I'm just trimming it. I'm not yeah, really yeah, doing yeah. anything. Because um, let me think. Oh, I am. When better. I did the one with. Yeah. I'm, be- I'm better than you. That's that's. that's the... You know what? You are absolutely. <laughs> I will see that on the video stuff. Like you, you got all the cool shit, man. I don't. I don't I'm not that dude. I'd like to be that dude. I ain't never gonna be that dude. It's too, technical, it's too time consuming. I ain't got time now. You Netflix. Got the good effects. Netflix, that's right. Any every time you spend editing on this is less homeland. Exactly. There's a, there's so a problem. So all right, now we can start recording. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> I'm gonna hit stuff. Right. Bye people. Good luck.